Right, um, this is my first day um, getting physiotherapy. Physiotherapy, and it's about my hands, as you can see. So, we will see what they say. I'm going to ask them can I record, but maybe not record their faces, you know. So you'll maybe just see like their hands or the bo like the bottom of the body. So I'm maybe not record their faces and just let you just know that. But I'm in the physiotherapy unit in the Antrim area. Not Antrim area, it's the Fern House. So um peace out and I'll see you in two seconds to you, but it'll be twenty minutes or something to me, so peace. Okay, I've just got into the waiting area and apparently they are ready for me, so I'll ask them, can I record but not their faces? See you in five. Like, I really don't want to record. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah. Right, sorry. All right, with physio, we aim to try. We use mostly exercise, so it's going to be using exercise therapy to try and maintain as much movement and function and strength in your hands here. So I don't think what I'm going to do is going to all of a sudden correct all those changes in your hand. So it is like actually like the like like worse worse than an old person with osteogenesis. Like it's like is this the worst that you've seen? Just I haven't seen many people with osteogenesis. Both stuff. Yeah. A couple. Okay. Um, and I think probably. Well, there's different grades to different severities. Yeah, okay, so there's everybody's different types of uh -huh. osteo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so everybody's going to present a little bit different. Um, and that's, I mean, that's just the way it is, you know, and I suppose it's hard comparing yourself to other people all the time. Uh, it's, it's like handing over money is the most embarrassing thing ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like so, um, you said about the other place that maybe the splint. Mm -hmm. What what's like? Would there ever be like an operation? Maybe like they would look at my hand and maybe say that's operation material there. Like you know. Because I, I know, like, every time I go for an operation, I know I get, get it before in my head, mm -hmm. you know. Like, I even have flashbacks of, like, breaks and all, and then it, it just scares me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, like, you said this other clinic, like, yes. they would split. They're occupational therapists and they're hand therapists. So they treat people with hand problems all the time. Sometimes they will custom make splints. Yeah, I, I had custom made we sold things whenever yeah. I was in the 90s. Uh -huh. um, for your feet. Like from my feet to straighten up because I've duck feet. Mm -hmm. I have no arch in my feet. Yeah. So sometimes a similar idea, but sometimes they'll use it then to give you support, maybe around a joint in your thumb where you get all that movement and the popping and clicking. Yeah. So I don't know. It's a very specialist area, but I will definitely try and get them to have a look at your hands and stuff. But today I'm going to give you try and give you some exercises to work at building up the strength in the muscles in your hands. Feet. Okay. Like um. So how how long will I have to like wait for the the for part of me? Therapist? Yeah. I don't know. So normally they only take referrals from the consultant. Okay. So I'm gonna have to try and ring them and plead the case. <laughs> do, do you think it's like quite urgent because like my head is fried every day? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So it's like even saying this. It's like, it's like fried every day, just bars and handing out money like, to tell people, handing your car to people, like signing, signing like post office things, you know, everything's just so bars and and then I put on the biggest front ever, like it's just, it's just so people don't see that I'm hurting. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Well, I'll try, I will try my best. I'll try my best to see if I can get you to end the scene. I think it will benefit to. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to see if I have any potty or anything, and we'll get started with some exercise. Okay. Okay, okay thank you. Okay, um, well, I was crying. I came in and I says, I am not going to cry. But yeah, I got told what I knew about my hands. Sorry, I'm so white now, but I like, I'm going to keep you up to date and going to pause this again and I'm going to do some exercises with my hands now, so um, I'll see you in maybe half an hour to me, but five seconds to you, but what all she said was what all I needed to hear, like it's been a mental health thing in my head for over years now. So at least now I'm getting it dealt with. She said it's worse than an elder with um, osteogenesis. So that's the part that made me kind of cry too because I knew I left it too late to get fixed. So it is kind of my problem. So sorry, like my eyes are just like bad from crying there. Let me tell you, it's all full of my makeup, but I'm happy. I'm happy that I'm getting it sorted now. So, um, yeah, I'll see you in five seconds to you, but 20 minutes to me. Peace. Okay, um, I am officially done. I got learnt the exercises for my hands. I'm going out to get some Play-Doh to help on my hands, but I was in tears. I was in tears because, uh, like, you're going to have to watch the YouTube video of it. Like, I was in tears, um, but it was shocking. And I am so happy now that someone has looked at it and said that I need to go to another place because it's that severe. It's that the fear um, of they've ne they told me they never seen um, an elder person an eight year old suffering with osteogenesis as bad as mine, and that's what brought me out of tears. And then like once she said that she's going to get this thing to at another place that's going to make splints from my hands. Yeah. So now, um, like all this is like uh, getting sorted. So thank you to the NHS for helping me out at physiotherapy unit at Fern House. Um, I just want to say, anybody suffering with anything out there, fight for it. I was fighting for this for years with my old doctor in Collibaki, Collibaki Health Center. They said they could do nothing about it, but Antrim Health Centre um, like said they never seen hands like this before. So yes, um, I want you to go out there, fight for your disability, fight for what you need to release your pain. You're like, you have to be happy with yourself. Every day I make myself happy to forget about my pain. So I hope you understand that any pain can get over. You just have to mentally get it. So I hope you just have a great day. And I'm going to end it here. Peace.